Hey everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. Coming to you today with a candle collection video. So I decided last night, mainly because I can't find shit in my closet of wax, that I need to get all my candles out and really get them separated for Christmas and tree scents, bakery, whatnot. And I know I did a fall candle uh, collection video last month for you. So I got them all out and had way too many to do one video. So I thought, okay, I'll start with my foodie candles. Didn't think that I had very many because I, that's just has not been my jam. Um, but I have a ton. I had no idea I had this many. My nose has changed, so I am enjoying these foodie candles a little bit more uh, than I did in the past. So. Let's get started. Um, first, I have a Yummy Pancakes from Goose Creek. This is one of my favorite types of candles from Goose Creek. They just burn beautifully. This scent isn't the greatest. I'm gonna try to get through this. Right now, it just smells burnt to me. Um, I'm gonna try to light it one more time, and if it doesn't really give me anything, I'm just gonna throw it in the crock just to get rid of it. I have Chestnuts Roasting from the Candleberry Company. I discovered this company in a craft mall, and they have a candle called Hot Maple Toddy. I have been buying one or two of those a year, probably since around 2007, 2008. I mean, it's been a long time. It is such a strong, sweet candle, though. Not everyone is into it, and I remember before I moved into this house when I was when I was single, I remember the mailman telling me he could smell this candle out on the sidewalk in front of my house. So the hot maple toddy candle was, it's, it's a good one. If you ever um, come across any Candleberry Company candles, they're quite pricey and you know, you don't get sales on these like you do Bath and Body and Goose Creek. But so this one, I got this one last year. Um, it's okay. Um, I don't think, I don't think I'll repurchase this one. I definitely want to get a hot maple toddy candle. And the other one that I like from Candleberry is something pecan, um, sweet bourbon pecan or bourbon roasted pecan, something like that. But they're, they're powerhouse candles. This one doesn't look like it melted. There's a lot of smudge. It could have been user error and they do only have one wick. I mean, these would be so much better if they at least put a second wick in them, but they didn't ask me. Um, let's do this other Goose Creek. So I have eggnog cookie from Goose Creek in the tall two wick. This one is the same way. Right, eh, right now I smell sweet burnt <laughs> smell. But yeah, I'm going to try to definitely get through these because I hate storing these. So those three candles just because of storing I'm going to try to get rid of. So, okay. So I jumped on the Berry Waffle Cone bandwagon this year. I got a bunch of these when they marked them down to like $6.99. For some reason, for like two weeks, I was on bathandbodywork.com. Perfect timing and got in on all those candles that were really cheap. So I have one, two, three, four. I have four three wicks of the Berry Waffle Cone right now. And I have two of the singles. So I think I'm set for a while, but this will actually go with good with a lot of the wax that I have. Sorry, I'm getting so close, but I don't have a real good setup here. Uh, toasted coconut cupcake. I've had this for a couple years. Sweet coconut, toasted almonds, fluffy vanilla cake. You know, it's not bad. I can't imagine this is gonna be a powerhouse. This is probably something I'll have to mix with wax but I have that. I have three spring plum and blackberries. This candle is amazing. I love this. It is juicy market plum, tart mixed berries, and natural vanilla bean. I think this is a powerhouse candle. This does fantastic in my home. I love it. And it's not, I mean, it's sweet. I mean, yeah, I don't think I get any yeah, it's just it's just a sweet, fruity, kind of mature type smell though. I I love this one. So I, I definitely recommend that one. 
Okay, I have toasted pineapple and marshmallow. Not sure why I got this one. Fresh pineapple, milk, chocolate, toasty marshmallow, graham cracker. Yes, I do. Because I have some wax that has the graham cracker, marshmallow, chocolate notes in it. And I thought maybe this would be nice with it. So it smells nice. Uh, chestnut and clove. Again, not my favorite. Warm chestnut, fresh clove, cedarwood. I don't know. This is definitely Christmassy to me. Um, try to get through that one this year too. Okay. Caramel drizzle. I've had a few of these. This performs okay. This one's getting down to the bottom. It's smelling a little burnt right now. This might be a crock candle, honestly. Uh, spice vanilla cupcake. Sweet vanilla frosting, fluffy angel food cupcake, cinnamon sugar. I like this one. This one did well. I remember burning this last year in my office, and it, and it did well. Ah, cherry mocha. Okay, I got this probably... 2019 candle day sale sweet cherry decadent chocolate whipped cream topping it doesn't smell bad it almost I almost get a cola scent in this candle haven't melted this at all so I've got to give that one a try I have Mary Mocha Latte from Sonoma I probably maybe should have put this in with my uh, coffee candles I don't have very many coffee candles anymore I went through them I like Sonoma candles. Some are better than other. Um, just coffee beans, mocha, and cream. But yeah, I really don't remember anything about this candle. And you can see I did melt it last year. I don't remember anything about that one. So I'll have to talk about that one after I melt it again. Chocolate Marshmallow Cloud from Bath & Body. Whipped Chocolate Marshmallow Fluff. Um, this smells chocolatey. I mean, it smells like chocolate. I might take this one and that coffee one, I maybe just make a day of it and uh, melt these chocolate candles the same day because chocolate really isn't my favorite in wax. Uh, sugared pecan pie, Bath and Body. It's pecani. I like this one. It's funny. I don't get that same uh, burntness as I do in the pumpkin pecan waffle candle. So, uh, hot buttered rum which is dark buttered rum, warm caramel, moline spice, vanilla bourbon. This is a nice candle. It looks like I've maybe melted it once. I don't remember a lot about it. I think I've had this for a while too. I gotta get through some candles because I know there's some that I'm gonna want for Christmas. I think I'm done with fall unless I hit some really great deal, except for candle day. They usually have fall candles um, on the candle day sale. I'm sure I'll buy some there. Uh, spiced gingerbread, Bath and Body. Smells like gingerbread. Haven't melted this one yet. Creamy nutmeg. Doesn't look like I've melted this one either. Spiced nutmeg, sugared cinnamon, vanilla chestnut. Pretty light on cold. Uh, cinnamon ginger snap. That is a neat one. Gingerbread spice, homemade marshmallow, vanilla bean. Oh, that's a nice candle. That'll be good for Christmas. That one reminds me of Christmas. Cuddle Weather. This is a new candle. Um, I probably just did a haul on this not long ago. Warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, and a cozy blanket. I think if you like chai in wax, uh, you'll like this. To me, this has a chai note to it. Well, uh, it says gingerbread tea. It doesn't say chai. Ouch. It doesn't say chai, but um, yeah, it smells like chai. Yeah, that's going to leave a mark. That hurts. Fell right on my ankle bone. Um, okay. So I have one, two. I have two three wicks in Summer Boardwalk. Kind of new to this candle. I really like it. It's got the popcorn and warm taffy apple salty sweet cream. So this is a nice one. And then I have two single wicks as well in the Summer Boardwalk. Uh, I picked up the Apple Macchiato new candle, which is the Washington Spiced Apples, Hint of Cinnamon, Caramel Drizzle, and Frost Milk. So I haven't tried that one yet. Sweet Cinnamon Plum is also a new one. This could be fall. I don't know that if I didn't have this yet when I did my fall candle collection for you or if I just considered it more of a 
Christmas type candle because of the plum. I think it could go either way. You could warm that all year round. Okay, peppermint sugar cookie. This one was highly sought after a few years ago. Crushed peppermint vanilla extract, creamy butter, soft sugar cookie. You can melt this with any kind of minty wax. So that'll be a good one to have. Uh, mint, mint chip shake I have, which I, I, when I smell like minty type scents, I think of Christmas and the holiday season a lot. So I have the mint chip shake in this. And then I have two of the mint chocolate chip milkshake. So let's see these notes. Vanilla mint ice cream, chunky chocolate chips, whipped cream. This one is dark chocolate chunks, icy peppermint, and definitely smooth ice cream. So you could melt these together. Bath and Body Works in there just repackages and just switching the names of some scents around. Uh, Mary Madeline cookie. This is nice. I like this. Um, baked Madeline cookie, spiced almond, sweet orange, toasted coconut. You definitely get that orange citrusy note in with the cookie. I love this. I would pick another one of these up. Uh, red velvet cake. Um, this is another one I got probably 2019 candle day. Lush red velvet cake, cream cheese frosting, sweet vanilla. It's okay, it's not anything I think I would repurchase, but it would go along good with the chocolate um, candles as well. All right, then I have in banana, had no idea I had all these, this is my problem. So I have two of the banana walnut muffin, and I have two of the banana bunk cake. So I don't have much uh, in terms of wax banana, I think I have a few things. I'm going to try to pick some stuff up in banana and wax because, you know, I, I need it. If I don't have it, I need it, right? So, blueberry. I have two blueberry pie. I have one of the new blueberry cotton candy. Um, I thought I had another blueberry over here but I guess I don't okay so that's it I do have a chocolate banana mudslide this is frozen bananas chocolate syrup crushed ice splash of rum mm. that is my okay so my favorite drink when we're um, on a trip is uh, they call it a banana monkey or a dirty monkey or a dirty no or a banana monkey banana monkey chocolate monkey chocolate banana it, it, it depends on what resort you go to if you're in mexico Punta Cana, it's all pretty much the same thing but yeah that's uh basically this candle in a drink so that's my drink of choice um i have buttery popcorn from bath and body it does look like i may have melted this for a hot second i don't remember melting that Chocolate grams, another chocolate candle, which could definitely be melted at the same time as those other chocolate ones. Uh, salted butterscotch. This is, oh, that's really nice. And I think I just maybe got some butterscotch wax, maybe from Scentsy, to check into that. Uh, ice lemon pound cake, love this. This is a really, really, really good lemon, I think. More chocolate candles, salted chocolate caramel. This one is almost gone, probably maybe a third of this candle left. So this may just go in my bedroom on the warmer. Um, chocolate chip cookie from Bath and Body. I specifically got this because I have some milk and cookie wax. Actually, I have quite a few different blends of milk and cookie wax. I think I have some from, what, Teddy Bees, some from Southbound. So I thought this would go along good with this. And this is a nice smelling candle, actually. Um, oven baked cookies, gooey chocolate chips, hint of flaky salt. Hmm. I do like that one. Uh, I got the salted caramel old fashioned. It's nice. Okay, almost done. 
Got the ice cream bar, which is glazed chocolate wafer, vanilla ice cream, and graham cracker. For someone who doesn't like chocolate and wax, I have a lot of freaking chocolate candles. Um, I do like this. I think this would mix well with just about any, any bakery. Uh, red, white, and blue cake. I would like some more of these. This is really nice. And I have that red, white, and berry pie wax from Scentsy. I did burn this and melt that one day, and it was a good day. But this is red raspberries, ripe blueberries, whipped vanilla cream, and soft white cake. Very good. And last, I have five wild berry jam donuts. This is another one that I kept getting on sale, and I think at one point they had marked it down to like $6.99, $7.99, and I always had coupons for Bath & Body. I love this candle on cold. I really need to melt it. Sweet wild berry jam powdered donut brown sugar crumble. I am going to try to make some of this in wax. And I did just get a custom, what I get from Broadway Wax? It was wild berry, but it, I might have put zucchini bread with it. So I think I'm going to try to make this uh, with a couple of my, my vendors that I do customs with because this is amazing. Amazing. Love this one. So that is my foodie candle collection that I don't, that I didn't go through for fall, that I didn't consider fall wax. Um, what I'm looking, I'm, see me looking over here to the side. I'm looking at this big stack of candles. So I think the next one I have is just basically all my tree note candles and what I consider Christmas or winter that's not foodie. We'll go with that. And then I probably won't do my, what I consider spring, summer, oddball type candles. I think I'll wait probably till maybe the new year, unless I just don't have any um, hauls or anything to do. And then maybe I'll pull them down and, and do those. I don't have as many of those, so. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, candle collection of mine. I'm definitely gonna work through some of these because I can't find crap and I don't have room and it's kind of giving me a little bit of anxiety. So, okay, everyone have a great Friday and have a great wait rest of your weekend. I don't know if I will be back until Sunday. We are going to Bloomington to spend family weekend with Presley. So I will be gone all day on Saturday. So everyone have a great weekend. Bye.